Okay, so we're doing volume of a cylinder. We want, what is the volume of a cylinder in cubic feet with a height of 20 feet and a base diameter of eight feet? So let me draw out our cylinder. Oops, okay, so this is a cylinder. It's like a can shape, okay? So it just looks like this. All right, and then let me write out the volume formula for a cylinder. Volume is equal to pi r squared h. Okay, so we want the volume of the cylinder in cubic feet with a height of 20 feet. So this is going to be your h value. And it will be represented here as the height, the vertical height of your cylinder. And it has a base diameter of eight feet. So that means from this end all the way to here, you have eight feet. Okay, now let's look at our formula. We have volume is equal to pi r. R stands for radius. Um, so we are not given our radius. We are given the diameter. So we want to calculate the radius. I'm gonna put the radius in red. So to calculate the radius, all you have to do is diameter divided by two. So eight divided by two. Radius is equal to the diameter divided by two, which is four. So remember the radius is the distance from the center to the outside. So if the diameter was eight, then the radius is half of that, it's just four. I'll draw it again here. Center of that circular base to the outside, that's your radius, so it will be four. Because the diameter is just double your radius. So for the R, I'm gonna put four. And then we're gonna square it. And then for the H, that's the height. So they told us the height was 20. So now I have pi four squared 20. So you just divide the radius of the diameter by two. Mm -hmm. Divide the diameter by two to get your radius, and then you can plug it into the formula. If you are given the radius, just plug the radius in. If you're given the diameter, divide it by two and then plug. Mm -hmm. This is the formula for finding the volume of a cylinder, and then this is the radius given the diameter. So radius would be diameter divided by two. Okay, write that out. Uh, I'll write it here. Radius equals diameter divided by two. Okay, so in my calculator, wow, it's kind of crossed out a bit, but we're going to type in this thing, pi four squared 20. So pi four squared times 20. And I get 1,005, I'm gonna write it out so then you can see it. I'll write it up here, 1,005.309. I'm not going to write the rest because we are only going to round to the nearest tens place. So we're going to pretty much cut it off after the three. We just have to look at what's after that line that I just drew, which is a zero. So since zero is a small number, we're going to keep the three as a three. So I'm going to write or type in here 1005.3 because zero, you're not going to round this three up. Zero is a small number. So you're going to keep the three as a three. I'll do a couple more examples for this one. Let me clear my screen. Okay, what is the volume of a cylinder in cubic centimeters with a height of eight centimeters and a base diameter of 14 centimeters? Okay, so we got another diameter. So let me write out the formula again. Volume is equal to pi r squared h. We're having a lot of formulas today, so you should write them down. So this is a cylinder. Formula. There you go, that's your cylinder. Um, it has a height of eight centimeters, so that's this part. Height of eight is this part. And a base diameter of 14 centimeters. So here to here is 14. Not drawn to scale, obviously. But we don't care about the diameter. We want the radius because the radius is what is in our formula. So how do you get your radius? Your radius is equal to diameter divided by two. So you're gonna do the 14 divided by two and you get seven. So your radius is seven. 
radius is half of the diameter. It's literally the distance from the center to the outside, not outside to outside. So this is seven because your diameter is 14. Okay, and then let's plug it in. Volume is equal to pi. Radius, we just calculated our radius. It is seven. Pi is seven squared. And then our h, which is the height, we just, um, we were just given it. It's right over there. So pi, seven squared, eight. And then I shall go type this into our calculator. Pi, seven squared, eight. Wait, yeah, okay. And then that gives us 1,231.50432. I'm gonna write that out. So I'm just gonna draw that line to separate the eight from like the number that the calculator gave me. So if we're rounding it to the nearest tenths place, that is one decimal place. So we're gonna look to separate it right there after that five. After the five is a zero, zero is a small number. So we're gonna keep the five as a five. And our final answer will then be 1231.5. Okay, any questions on this one? Let's do one more. Yes, this one gave me a radius, so good. Let me clear all drawings. Okay, let me draw a cylinder, really basic. There we go, cylinder done. Cylinder has a base radius of nine meters, so luckily for us, they already gave us this radius. It's nine, I'm just gonna underline that in red actually. And then they have a height of 14, so that's the Height. And then we want its volume. So let me write out the formula. Volume is equal to pi r squared h. And then remember that r is the red letter. Volume is equal to pi. For the r, we have the radius. It is 9. Luckily, they gave it to us this time. They did not give us the diameter. They gave us the radius, which is great. And then h is the height. They always just give us the height. So it's pi 9 squared 14. We're going to round this to the nearest tenths place. Let me just type it in the calculator. Pi 9 squared times 14. And it gives me that number that I'm going to write out so that people can see it. 3562.56. Okay. So then we want to um, round this to the nearest tenth place again. So tenth place means we're going to keep only one number after the decimal. So you're going to look two numbers after to take a look to see if you're going to round up or down or whatever. So it's 0.56. 6 is a big number. So that 5 gets rounded up. So your final answer is 3562.6. That 5 got rounded up to become a 6. All right, so that's it for this category. Let's go on to the next one.